Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's vlog, pag-uusapan natin ang mga philosophies of education na pwede nyo ma-encounter sa board exam. So pagdating naman kay philosophies of education, hindi naman kailangan sobrang memorize nyo yung full definition ng bawat philosophies of education. Bakit po? Kasi kay board exam, hindi po itatanong sa inyo yung definition. Bibigyan po kayo ng mga situation wherein iti-check nyo kung anong philosophy of education yung nag apply sa bawat philosophy. So, dapat lang meron kayong mga idea sa bawat concept ng philosophies of education. So, after our discussion, magbibigay po ako sa inyo ng mga sample situations wherein ina-apply po yung philosophies of education. So, without further ado, let's start. So, first, philosophy of education is idealism. So, ang clue word po natin kay idealism is idea. Si so, idea po is something in your mind. So, pagdating kay mind, nandiyan din si spirit. Ano pong sabi ni idealism? Sabi niya, lahat daw po ng iniisip natin ay possible mangyari. So, kung iniisip mo na papasa or magtatap ka sa board exam ngayon, papasa ka ba? So, yes, according to idealism. Pumasok din po dyan si spirits about our values. So next, we have yung kasalungat ni idealism which is realism. So anong clue word nyo? It should be something real. Ayan po, real. Okay, sabi ni realism, dapat daw hindi lang natin naiisip, dapat nakikita rin natin or nakahawakan. Okay, with the use of our senses. So that is realism. Tandaan nyo, it should always be something real. Next, Oh, pragmatism Pra for practice Okay? Sabi po ni pragmatism Lahat po ng knowledge natin Dapat napuput into action So, ano pong tawag doon? That is our skills So, that is pragmatism Pra for practice Next, we have Essentialism So, essential Essentialism Essential Sorry Ah uh, kailangan yung importante lang yung ituturo mo or teach the basics or common body of knowledge. So, ano po ba yung common body of knowledge natin? So, that is 3 hours, yung reading, writing, and arithmetic. Pero ngayon, under uh, 21st century learning skills sa K-12, meron tayong bagong common body of knowledge which is yung 7 C's. So, ano po ba yun? Yung mga C's na yun, yung computer skills, collaboration skills, communication skills, cross-cultural skills, at iba pa. Okay? So, that is essentialism. Ituro mo lang yung mahalaga. So, sumunod is perennialism. Narinig nyo na po ba yung phrase na is this something perennial? Or nangyari na po ba ito ulit? So, si perennialism po kasi is about unchanging. So, ano pong example ni perennialism? So, pwedeng si Bible. Bakit po? Si Bible po ba nagbabago yung content? So, no. Nagkakaroon lang po yung mga revision para mas maintindihan pa po natin yung concepts nung nasa Bible. Pero hindi po nagbabago yung content nun. So, another example is si Koran. Okay? Same lang po siya with Bible. So, na-under ng perennialism. So, tandaan nyo lang pag perennialism and changing. Sumunod, we have existentialism. So, anong flow word nyo doon? Existence. Yung existence mo ay mahalaga under existentialism. Ano po ulit yung mahalaga? Yung self-choice mo rin. So, ano, anong situation yung nag-apply dito? So, yung pumili po tayo ng program na ititake po natin sa college, that is existentialism kasi tayo po yung pumili noon. Okay? So, another example of existentialism is yung pagpili nyo po ng sagot sa exam. O, self-choice din yon. So, ano pa? Yung uh, ating sariling thoughts, sariling stand on an issue. That is under existentialism. Kasi atin yon sarili po natin yon. Okay? So, sumunod, we have progressivism. So, anong clue word nyo doon? Progress. So, pag may progress, merong development or change. So, another situation kay uh, progressivism is yung strike the iron while it's hot. 
So ano po ba yung strike the iron while it's hot? O for example, pagpasok mo ng classroom, narinig mo yung mga estudyante mo nag-uusap about Mobile Legend. So ano po bang pwede mong gawin about doon? So pwede mo pong i-apply yung idea ng Mobile Legend sa pagtuturo. Bakit po? Kasi yung uh, Mobile Legend is uh, interest ng mga bata. Kasi kapag nakuha mo yung interest ng bata, makikinig ba sila sa iyo? Yes, makukuha mo yung kanilang interes sa pagkatuto or pag-aaral. So, that is progressivism. Next. So, we have social reconstructivism. Social, so that is society. Reconstruct, that is change. So, that is change in society. Yan yung keyword natin kay social reconstructivism. So, naalala nyo po ba dati sa mga syudad natin, matataas po ba yung mga building? So, hindi naman po, di ba? So, ngayon, matataas na po ba? Yes. Okay? That is an evidence of change in society which is under social reconstructivism. So, sumunod, we have constructivism. So, construct or create. So, we are going to create our own knowledge, our own concept on a topic or certain topic based on our past experience. So, ano pong tawag natin dun sa past experience na yon? That is our schema. Okay? So, that is constructivism. Next, we have hedonism. So, ano po ba si hedonism? That is selfish. Yung keyword natin is selfish. Okay? So, may kasalungat po yan. That is utilitarianism. So, si utilitarianism naman is selfless. So, ano po ba yung situation na pwede nyo ma-encounter dito? O for example, si teacher, pinigyan ng death threat ni parent para ipasa yung kanilang anak. So, based on, for example, based on hedonism, ipapasa mo po ba yung anak? So, yes. Okay? So, ang nasa option kasi yes or no. Okay? Pero may reason. Yung first yes is why suffer the threat? Yes, why suffer the threat? Yung isa pang yes, yes, because it will be your use, the parent, and the student. So, saan po ba yung nag-apply doon yung concept ng hedonism sa mga option? EDC, why suffer the threat? Kasi selfish siya, bakit po ako masasaktan? Bakit ako mahihirapan? Kung pwede ko namang ipasa yung bata. Okay? So, that is hedonism. E paano naman po kapag base kay utilitarianism? Ipapasa niyo po ba yung bata? So, same answer, yes pa rin, pero, reason, because it will be your use, the student, and the, it will be your use, the student, and the parent. Okay? So, ano po yung iniisip nung utilitarianism? It is always about the greater good, or kapakanan ng mas nakakarami. So, that is uh, hedonism and utilitarianism. What about the nationalism. So pag na-encounter niyo si nationalism, it is about love of country. So ito po yung mga sample philosophies of education na pwede niyo ma-encounter sa board exam. So let's try now to answer some question where in ina-apply itong mga philosophies na ito. So let's practice. When we teach our objections to abortion, and RH bill, our thought goes with A. Essentialism, B. Progressivism, C. Pragmatism, D. Existentialism. Oh, again, you are free to pause the video if you want to answer this question. Okay? So, analyze yung question. Yung sarili nating objection, yung sarili nating stand about a certain issue ay yung, nandi, ay yung nasa situation. Okay? So, ano po kaya yun sa mga options? Yung sa arili natin. So, that is existentialism. Again, our own thoughts, our own obje objections, our own own stance. Okay? Kasi self-choice din naman natin yung ating mga objection, objections and thoughts. Okay? So, next question. Which educational philosophy is achieved when the teacher is able to develop intrinsically motivated learners, learners through experiential learning? Okay. 
So, ang keyword po natin dito is to develop intrinsically motivated learners. Okay? Kasi yung method naman na experiential learning, pwedeng iba rin naman yung nandoon. So, ang mahalaga dyan, na motivate mo yung learners or nakuha mo yung kanilang interest. So, ano po ba yung sinabi ko kaninang example? Yung strike the iron while it's hot. Kasi po, after the, na i-apply mo yung interest nila sa pagtuturo, nakuha mo yung kanilang interest sa pag-aral. Okay? So, that is letter D, progressivism. Next. After listening to the priest about morality, John has a moment of reflection. His understanding of the morality has become deeper as he relates it to his past experiences. So, kung uh, nabasa nyo yung question, naniniwala ako na yung iba sa inyo, iniisip na ang sagot is idealism kasi may value. Pero tandaan nyo po, isipin nyo palagi yung situation ng question. So, ano po bang ginagawa ni John dito? So, after niya makinig sa pare, nagkaroon siya ng moment of reflection wherein nirelate niya yung uh, value na morality sa kanyang past experience. So, that's why nagkaroon siya ng uh, mas malalim na understanding or nakapag-create siya ng mas malalim na understanding about sa value na morality. O, saan po kaya yan sa options? That is, constructivism. So, ganun ko lang iniisip yung mga questions sa board exam about philosophies. So, next. Which philosophy of education is achieved when a teacher mainly focuses on developing the essential skills? O, yun. Pag nakita nyo yun, bilugan nyo na yan. And the basics of literacy. O, yung basic skills, essential, essential skills, yung mga mahalagang skill lang daw ang ituro mo. So, that is letter A. Oh, sorry. Dapat ito ay letter A. Essentialism. Next, when the teacher is convinced, convinced that it is best to teach the students the skill to adapt to change, since change is the only thing permanent in this world, he subscribe to which philosophy of education? So, alam ko yung iba sa inyo, inisip pwedeng si progressivism yung sagot kasi may word na change. Okay? Pero again, isipin nyo yung question, ano po bang ginawa dito? So, in-apply po yung, alin, yung skill ni student to adapt to change. So, ang primary na situation dito is yung nag gumamit ka ng sarili mong skills, okay? Para makapag-adapt ka sa change. So, pre-practice mo yung skills, pinot into action mo yung skills para makapag-adapt ka sa change. So, ano pong isasagot natin dito? So, that is, pragmatism. Pra for practice. So, next. Which philosophy has the educational objective to indoctrinate Filipinos to accept the teachings, teachings to accept the teachings of the Catholic Church which is to foster faith in God? Oh. Ano po ba yung again, ano po yung situation? Gusto po dito ma-indoctrinate sa mga Filipinos yung teachings of the Catholic Church. Ano po ba yung teachings teachings of the Catholic Church? Siyempre, yung ating mga values. Okay? So, pumapasok yung ating spirit. So, ano pong isasagot natin dito? So, that is idealism. Letter C. Ayan. Putom na ako. Okay, anyway. So, scouting and citizens army training or safety gave the training gave training in character building citizenship training and etc which leads to the creation of a new social order and a new eventually so what philosophy supports this so ano pong nangyari dito sa question they want to create a new social order yung social order na po ba yun ay para lang sa sarili nyo 
No, it is for your community or society. What do you want to do? To create a change. Okay? So, anong sasagot natin dito? Social Reconstructionism. Letter D. Next question. Mr. Santos says, If it is billiard that brings students out of the classroom, let us bring it into the classroom. Perhaps I can use it to teach math. To which philosophy does Teacher Mika adhere? Ay, Teacher Mika, may tapos si Mrs. Santos. Anyway, ano ba itong nakuha kong question? So, ganito po yan. Naalala niyo po ba yung sinabi ko kanina, strike the iron while it's hot? So, ano pong ginamit kong situation kanina? Yung mobile legend. Pero sa question na ito, kasi medyo luma na siya, anong interest ng mga bata? Yung billiard. Okay? So, yung billiard na, na daw yon ay gusto ng mga bata. So, ang ginawa ni teacher, or gagawin ni teacher, dadali niya yung billiard, or yung concept ng billiard sa loob ng classroom para magamit niya sa pagtuturo ng math. Okay? So, kung ay yung uh, concept ng billiard, or yung billiard, ay gusto ng mga bata, makukuha mo pa po ba yung interest nila sa pagkatuto kapag in-apply mo yun sa pagtuturo mo ng math? So, of course, yes. That is striking the iron while it's hot. So, ang sasagot po natin dito is letter C. Progressivism. Okay. So, who is more likely to advise you to modify your classroom environment in such a way that your pupils will be motivated to learn? Okay. So, analyze natin yung mga options. So, ang gusto daw, ay wait, yung question muna. So, sabi dito, gusto niyang i-modify yung classroom environment. Okay? Bakit po kaya niya yung gustong i-modify? Baka po, kapag minodify niya yung classroom environment, mas matuto pa yung bata kasi naniniwala po yung isang theory na kapag yung, na yung environment will always affect the learning. So, isipin nyo po, kapag yung classroom nyo dati ay magulo or makalat at maingay yung paligid, matututo, po kayo ng, matututo po ba kayo ng maayos? So, no. So, anong theory kaya yun dito sa mga options? That is letter C. So, tandaan nyo kay behaviorism. Tandaan nyo kay behaviorism. Environment affects the learning. Okay? So, basa si environment or nurture. Si pragmatism po naman is about skills. Si cognitive na, cognitivist naman is about um, brain and thinking. Si socio cognitivist naman, gusto niya meron siyang model. Okay? So, that, uh, so that is the last question na. Okay. So, ganito lang yan, teachers. Yung mga payong binigay ko sa inyo sa mga previous video ko, sana masunod nyo po yun na nagpa-practice po kayo ng mga at least 100 questions per day. Kasi kung sinam up mo po yung ganong karaming questions na yon until the day, the day of the board exam, sobrang dami na po yun. Libo na po yun. Isipin mo, nakapag-practice ka ng maraming questions. So, marami kang bala na magagamit sa board exam. So, that's all for today's vlog. If you want more of these videos para ma-inspire pa po ako mag-upload, uh, please click nyo po yung like button and subscribe button. Thank you!